Hello, I'm High Hill Knight, and welcome to my review of Air, the 2015 film starring Norman Reedus, Sabine Holt, and I am going to butcher this name, I apologize, Jimon Honsu. <laughs> I give the movie a C+, plus, a nice C+. Plus. Okay, this movie uh, is in the future, and humanity has screwed up the planet. Not just uh, one country, but the whole Earth. It's just totally ruined. Now, the Earth will heal itself, but it's going to take several decades, maybe even a couple of centuries. So, humanity uh, builds some bunkers to put its best and brightest citizens uh, into the bunkers in cryo sleep. And every couple of years, or a couple of months, I should say, uh, these tech service workers wake up from cryo sleep to check on the bunker, to check on the inhabitants, uh, make sure everything is working, to fix whatever needs to be fixed. Uh, they have a limited time to do it because the air is so toxic on the planet that uh, the facility can only recycle fresh air every couple of months for the workers. So, uh, as I said, it stars those three actors. And what intrigued me about reading the movie was the idea that, okay, you got a very small cast in a very limited environment. Uh, what are they going to do? How, what can they do with such a, a limited uh, space, a limited cast, a limited budget? Uh, all three of these actors do a great job. Uh, I found the story nice and interesting. I had a couple of surprises here and there for me. Uh, so it is a good film, and I do recommend it if you're a fan of Norman Reedus or Sabine Holt or the gentleman whose name I can't really pronounce. So it is a, it's a good movie. Now, going into this movie, I knew that it was going to be a limited cast based on the trailer. Uh, that's one of the things that intrigued about me. The problem is, it is pretty much just those three people, okay? Uh, the gentlemen play the tech agents who have to uh, check on the facility, and after several decades of reawakening and reawakening and reawakening, they're both fed up with the experience, and they're both going a little nutty, just nutty in different ways. One's frustrated and angry and resentful. The other one longs to be with his wife, uh, who is in one of the cryopods. And Sublime is the wife and the tech agent, he's just become more and more delusional seeing her, talking to her, and just wants to be with his wife. So, uh, any other actors that appear are on news footage that the tech guys watch uh, just to reminisce about the past, but really to deliver exposition for the audience. Uh, but I did find it interesting that this movie uh, has a black guy a white guy, and an Asian woman. Uh, this movie is like a box of Metropolitan ice cream. It's the two tech guys and the uh, ghost slash illusion slash dream of uh, the actress. So when I realized that, I was like, okay, well, that means that only three possible outcomes could there be for this story. Either uh, both tech guys survive, despite their differences, despite their uh, mental state, they both survive. Uh, only one of them survives, and you just got to wonder which one it's going to be, or they both perish, and thus, most likely, all of humanity perishes. Uh, and that could possibly be the outcome. And those three outcomes, that's not being a spoiler. I do my best not to spoil my rental reviews, uh, so that's not a case of spoiler, it's just a case of logic, okay? In case, unless there are space aliens, or uh, clones, or a time warp, or it's all a dream, or something like that, uh, you know it can only be one of those three outcomes. So that's not a spoiler, that's just logic. And the reason why it's a plus, because the actors are great. All three actors do a great job. The uh, environment is very uh, good for the budget that they're working with. The dialogue, the uh, action, the uh, set pieces, the mystery, the entry, it's all very good, very good, very good. That's why it's a plus. 
because I really do uh, recommend this movie if you just want to check it out. But uh, if you want something complex, you want something uh, multi-layered, you want some big giant surprises, no, that's not going to happen. That's why it's a C+. Plus. It's uh, no matter what happens, you know what the ending is likely to be, but everything that you get is excellent. So it's a C plus. Okay, that's my review of Air, the 2015 film starring Norman Reedus, Sabine Hope, and forgive me, uh, Jimon Hunzutin. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I loved you in Guardians of the Galaxy and Leon Mustad. Okay, I, I, but I can't pronounce her name yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, once again, I'm High Hill Knight. Please subscribe to my channel, like or dislike this review, whichever you prefer. Uh, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.